Hi everybody, welcome back. This is part 18 now of the Trumpeter 1200 scale Bismarck build. This time I've been building the uh, upper part of the bridge on the ship, which starts with the Admiral's Bridge. We've got a couple of searchlight platforms and then the foretop gallery with the rangefinders on top of that. And this work has taken far longer this week than I expected and that's because there were quite a few modifications needed for the Admiral's Bridge level. That's because even though the ship had a relatively short life, uh, there were some works done in January and February 1941 and Trumpeter have represented the ship before that point so it doesn't include those minor refits. But because I'm building the ship as it appeared uh, in May 1941, I need to incorporate those changes. So because it's taken longer than I expected this week, I'm going to break the episode up this time into two halves. So in this first part, I'll be doing the Admiral's Bridge with those modifications, the two searchlight platforms. And then next time I'll do the foretop gallery, the upper conning tower, and I'll show you how I put together the two range finders as well. At that stage in the second part I'll paint all of this assembly and get it ready for fitting to the rest of the ship. So because we've got so much to do this week we better make a start uh, and we'll make that start with the Admiral's Bridge level. Okay uh, before we start this week let's just take a look at what we're aiming to get to in this video. So uh, looking at the anatomy of the ship book uh, last time we managed to get up to this level, uh, which is the upper mass deck here. Uh, and in this video I'm going to be moving upwards and completing the rest of the bridge structure. So we'll be going up another three or four levels. Uh, the first of which is the Admiral's bridge deck, which is here. And then there's a couple of searchlight decks, one above the other. And then finally we've got the foretop gallery, which is the very top uh, level. And then on top of that we've got the main fire control post, which is this structure at the top here. So I've cut the uh, trumpeter parts off the sprue. These are the ones that we're going to need uh, for this video. And the bulkhead work that I've been doing on all the other uh, bits of superstructure. There's a lot less of it to do on these. The uh, Pontos set really comes into this by building new platforms and the start of the uh, mast structures as well. So it's a little bit different the work that we've got to do this week. But the first thing to do is to get the brass sorted out that we're going to be using this week and start to put some of these main parts together. Those are just a couple of scars from the sprue gates. They'll show through the final paint so I'll just give those a little drop of Mr Surfacer. That should sort them out. One of the strange things uh, in this Pontos set are the doors. Because uh, you'll remember if you've watched the other videos earlier on in the series that uh, there's been quite a lot of work on the bulkheads lower down the ship and replacing all the doors with photo etched ones in the Pontos set. But um, they've all gone now. I've fitted all the ones where Pontos tell us to uh, and they leave these other doors on these structures further up the ship. 
uh, which is uh, really odd. I can't understand why they wouldn't provide uh, enough to do the rest of the model. But uh, they don't. I've uh, scoured the frets. There's no mention in the instructions of these doors being replaced. So it's uh, a little bit of a puzzle really. I do have one of the correct style left for this position here. So I might as well use it. This is a slightly awkward shape to uh, sand down, get rid of all the joints. It's not a brilliant fit. So again, I'm just sorting some of these gaps out with some Mr. Surfacer. So just coming back to these doors, when I'm referring to the Anatomy of the Ship book, I can see that these are the wrong style altogether in the Trumpeter kit. They're an oblong style and in reality they were kind of an extended oval really. And it's just jogged my memory about noticing some oval doors in the Pontos set, but they're not referred to in the instructions. So maybe what's uh, happening here is that Pontos provide enough for the doors with the lights in and the remainder are all those oval ones. I'll have to check the fret and just make sure in the instructions that they're not appearing anywhere else. These are the doors that I was thinking of. 968, 969 and we need two of these for the funnel but we've got another two here. So I'm guessing that they were the ones that uh, go on this structure. So I'm going to try a couple of these doors. <clears throat> There's no location in the instructions for the second pair. These are the doors that I was referring to and they're actually designed for the uh, searchlight platform on the funnel but uh, they're far too small really for this position that I'm after. So what I've done instead is I've cut out some blanks from some plastic sheet to create these doors and I'll just engrave the hinge detail and a latch onto those as well. So they're more accurate, I think, than the either the trumpeter parts or these ovals here. So I'll just make another one of those and we'll get them fitted and do a little bit of engraving on them. These are quite useful templates really. It's just on occasions like this where you want a very precise shape. So I just went through that with a sharpened needle and that's just enough to be able to pull this out. And it leaves a bit of a ragged edge but we can just clear that off with a bit of a sponge. It's a bit odd this uh, business over these doors from Pontos because they're normally uh, fairly precise about getting these sort of details right. But I've scoured the frets and there's nothing resembling this. So two perfectly matching ovals from using the template. Okay, so they're uh, an improvement, or at least they're the right shape.
Okay, so I think that's a reasonable fix. They're certainly more accurate than either the trumpeter parts as originally moulded or these doors. You can see the difference in size. So I don't think these are really an option. I'm going to fill in these portals here. They're in slightly the wrong place and the reason why they're in the wrong place is that this isn't slide moulded. But Trumpeter have positioned them there because of the limitations of injection moulding. Because obviously the mould is going in from this sort of direction. So if you went any further around this radius you'd end up with a very large oval being punched into this plastic. So it's a bit of a compromise for Pontos to position the portals where they have. It's easy enough to fix, just fill that one in and we'll drill them a bit further around the radius. Next we'll get the Admiral's Bridge sorted out. I've removed these two extensions on the back and we also have these little extensions to remove as well. They'll all be replaced. So uh, first job with the brass is to build these platforms, reinstate them in the brass. Okay, so we've got a cross framework to build here. And then that fits onto this uh, framework which goes on the underside of the platform. So in theory these should all interlock. So those parts are all interlocked and they fit onto the underside of the actual platform. This is the platform you can see it's got some integral railings. I'm going to get the underside fitted first. And to do that I'm just going to put a spot of CA underneath like that. So I managed to get all the cross braces on there and as I said they interlock. So that should be uh, reasonably strong. Now with all that work in place I can fold the railings up. That's the first platform. I've got another one to do obviously for the other side.
obviously at this stage you've got to be very careful where you're placing your fingers. These uh, frames here that I'm bending up, they're actually for the crane rests. So the arm of the crane was uh, dropped into these slots here. Okay, so obviously they're getting quite delicate at this stage. Just got to be really careful now. I think uh, this part might be safer if we mount it on top of the uh, structure below. So we just need to finish this piece off now. Remember I filled in the portals that are in the wrong place. Okay, so that's all fixed. So I'll glue this platform on now. That'll mean that it's just a little bit more secure. It's off the board. Okay, so with that fixed, at least this uh, Admiral's Bridge platform isn't sitting on the bench anymore. I'm uh, a bit happier about that. So you remember these uh, railings which I left off. I think it's safe enough to fit them now as long as I'm careful with them. So with things like this it's just trial and error really until you get the correct shape Just continuing now with the Admiral's Bridge and you'll notice that I've added this platform here uh, looking through the anatomy of the ship book this is the equivalent part uh, and we can see that this section here uh, is described as a large signal signalman's platform and that was added in about April 1941 
so before the time scale that we're depicting in the model so we need to add this all I've done is use some uh, thin plastic sheet and I've measured directly off this drawing it's uh, a 1 200 scale drawing so it's uh, an exact match and both top and bottom are given so it just shows a couple of uh, stays on the underside which I've added I'm going to have to find some scrap uh, railing to fit around the edge of that but there's plenty of that in the spares box I'll just put the other one on now just making sure that I've got the right one well, there's lots of scraps of styrene on the bench just take that corner off a little bit Okay, so that's that fixed. The other thing we've got to add is a plate along the front here, a splinter shield basically, along the front. Because again, that's a modification in uh, January 1941 when the railing was replaced by that steel plate. So a bit more styrene to use. Pontos provide a wooden deck for this whole section here but actually the uh, front here was plated so again I'm going to have to fill in the engraved planking detail on here so uh, another sheet of plastic card and I can use the Pontos wooden deck sections here as a template That's all the mods done on the Admiral's Bridge. And the last thing to do for the moment is to uh, fit this frame to the underside. The only uh, 
other thing to fit to this eventually will be the formas platform which goes into this little slot here but uh, it extends quite a long way out and I'm not going to risk uh, breaking that off because we've got this little tab on the unside, underside I'm hoping that it'll be fairly easy to get a good fit on that so I'll drop the Admiral's Bridge in now Just blending the front of that bridge in with this shield that I added. This is uh, called an outrigger, it's for the wireless antenna. Uh, there's an eyelet to fit into the end. That's a piece of brass that folds in half and gives us a pin that goes in the end of the turned brass part like that. A nice strong fixing on that's going to take some rigging later on. This platform sits on top of the Admiral's Bridge. Okay, so that's done. Admiral's Bridge finished. Obviously, I've got some railings to put around the outside, but uh, I think that's at the stage where I want to get it painted now. And onto this uh, searchlight platform, and again, we've got another outrigger. We've got a couple of platforms underneath this other platform and one of them carries the ship's horn which Pontos provide in brass. Obviously that frame's really uh, quite delicate, it's just a butt fit onto the underside. So I need to make sure that's absolutely set before I attempt to fit the horn. It's not absolutely clear where this particular walkway fits. I think that's how it goes in. Okay, so uh, I think that's about as much as I want to do for this particular episode. There's a lot of photo etch work gone into those fairly small structures and you've seen that I've also had to modify the trumpeter kit as well 
So I'll just prime these for the uh, end of the video, for those shots at the end of the video. And then next time I'll continue with the foretop gallery, the conning tower. Uh, I'll build the directors as well. And at that stage, once this section's done, I can bring all three of these parts together and add the various pieces of equipment on uh, these structures. Okay, so uh, a little while later, I've got the assembly primed. And uh, for that, I've just used Mr. Servicer 1500. That's the finest grade of Mr. Servicer. Uh, and it's thinned about 50% with leveling thinners. Sprayed through the airbrush at a low pressure, about 10 to 12 PSI. And that low pressure helps you get into all this uh, detail, particularly on the underside of these platforms. Any higher pressure and it would tend to, the paint would tend to swirl around a little bit. So uh, keep the airbrush pressure low and uh, you should be okay. So I'll get on now, do the rest of the work that I've uh, just talked about to get this upper bridge finished off. And I'll do that over the next few days. The uh, next episode, the second part of this two-parter, uh, I'll publish that as usual uh, next Friday about 8 o'clock. So hopefully uh, if you want to see the finish of this bridge, you'll join me for that one. In the meantime, look after yourselves everybody. And I'll see you in another few days' time. Bye for now.